My doctor suggested to me somewhat strongly that it was important for men over 50 to have a colonoscopy. And this was when I was age 57. And I thought it was important, but I said, I'll get to it. I felt somewhat invincible with regard to certain health issues because the health issues such as cancers did not run at all on either side of my family. My attitude towards health has changed somewhat as I've aged by being more aware of what I should and shouldn't do. Going to the doctor more often. I mean, when I was in my 40s, I don't think I had to check it for three, four, five years at a time. So starting at about 50-something or 52, I probably started going annually. My doctor and I discussed alternative options to the colonoscopy, and we settled upon the home screening test. So he gave me the packet, and I took it home, and I put it down for several days. The biggest barrier I had with regard to completing the test was feeling that doing the test was somewhat gross, uncomfortable, and I was very squeamish about it. And I thought, well, people do it, and people are squeamish, so I'll just have to do it and be squeamish. I prepared for the test by, uh, by preparing my bathroom, uh, first by getting some old towels and putting them on the floor around the toilet. I was able to get a piece of stool onto the stick, and I wrapped it in the packaging and uh, closed the package, and then I put that in a plastic bag. One thing I did to prepare was I put on rubber gloves, and I felt more comfortable. I didn't think that the home screening test was as gross or as uh, obnoxious as, as I thought it would be. I thought that uh, it went a lot better, it went a lot easier. I realized that most of what I was thinking was, uh, was, was more than was involved. It wasn't, it wasn't that, it wasn't that bad. After the home screening test was over, I felt like I accomplished something. It was almost like a workout at the health club. The results were negative. Yeah, I was sort of confident that that's what was, the result was going to be anyway. But I'll continue to do it because certainty is certainty. The thing I look forward to the most over the next 10 years would be watching my children's lives evolve in terms of marriage, family, their children, my grandchildren. I want to be able to enjoy playing ball on the weekend and generally continuing my lifestyle as it has been. To be able to enjoy all of those things, I have to be healthy. My goal is to just keep on playing.